So I bought an iPhone, new, a couple of years ago, and then I dropped it hard. It landed flat on its back, and it didn't seem to be damaged, so that was good. And then it'd just randomly turn off in my pocket, or in my backpack, it'd just turn off. So I had to get another phone. So I bought another iPhone, and I put the, the old one in a drawer, and I forgot about it pretty much. But a while ago, I needed a second phone. So I did a bit of research and I found you can get a new battery for iPhone 4 really cheap off eBay and it comes with the little battery connector which I figured that's probably what I broke. So I ordered it for seven bucks off eBay and it arrived with the special screwdriver to open up the phone. So I opened up the phone and I found that there was no screw on the battery connector. Apple didn't put a screw in the screw hole and that's why my phone was turning off. So when I dropped it I must have loosened the connection but there was just no screw at all from the factory. So for another $2.50 off eBay I got a complete screw set from some guy and I put the screw in and it's fine it turns on it doesn't switch off until it's flat it just works perfectly so I posted well I tried to contact Apple and it was going to cost me thirty nine dollars so I could make a phone call to them or so they'd call me back so I decided not to do that but instead I posted on their user forums with a technical issue basically and letting them know that Apple screwed up and they forgot to put a screw in my phone and it was up for I don't know six hours or something and then Apple removed the post they said because it was either non-technical or off-topic well it was a technical forum on iPhone 4 problems sounds pretty technical to me that it had no screw where it was supposed to have a screw and yeah they just they just don't want the world to know that yeah somebody for two cents a day sits in a factory bolting together iPhones and there is no quality control so I've done this video if your iPhone stops working and if it's out of warranty because if you undo it and open it up yourself and it's in warranty that voids your warranty so they don't want you looking in their phones and that's probably why so that they can charge you a fortune to fix it when they just built it wrong in the first place so anyway there's the video there's how I fixed it took me two seconds cost me under ten bucks and now I've got a second phone so cool